What's up, my bitches? It's Yoshi, and um, I know this is where I left off last time. It's because the last video got corrupted, which is kind of annoying, but you really didn't miss much. I will recap what you guys missed. Uh, we left Yoshi's Island. We went down into the sewers to see what we can get, and uh, I upgraded Cooper for the last time, as you can see here. Um, I fought the big blooper and I beat him. And I just explored around to see what else I could do. I checked out where the um, seventh chapter is. I unlocked that weird warehouse. And yeah, and things like that. So let's, uh, well, if I can get in, take a nap. There we go. And yeah. After this, let's see what kind of items we have because we're going to need them for next chapter. Just saying. So, I did indeed sleep well. Thank you for asking, Toad. So, we got Pow Block, uh, some healing stuff, and I think we got room for more, so. I swear there's like an item in this game that lets you hold like 20 items or something. Group focus, okay. Uh, that didn't cost 3. I would have easily, easily bought that. So if we go over there, we can, you know, open chapter six. And yeah. So actually, I got idea here. I have an idea. Let's um, uh, yes. Let's cook you. You. Indeed. Indubitably. Most of the recipes I do know just because I was like a recipe freak when I was a kid. Even the Thousand Year Door, I was a recipe freak. So, yep. That's hella helpful. Saves us, you know, one space. I feel like I should do uh, the same with the other ones. But, actually, I probably will. Let's, there we go. And there we go. Indubitably. So yeah. We just got two maple syrups. I'm pretty sure that's the name. Uh, maple syrups, right? Yep. Maple moo maples maple syrups. Wow. Maple supers. Herp a derp. So let's walk on up over here and let's talk to this guy. Let's go over here. Do I have anything interesting in here? I got a vault room. I'll save that for later. So let's talk to you again. What do I have in my storage? Dried fruit. Ooh, whack bomb. Snowman dows. Life shrooms under age. Repel gel. Um, the reason why I'm doing all this is because our next boss is um a really really, really hard. So, uh, that is indeed why. So, let's bring up that Thunder Rage. Um, Propel Gel. That I really hate to. Do I bring out the dry? Yeah, I'll bring out dry fruit. And I will be buying this. There. And I think I should be ready for this battle. But I want to bring out... I'm going to say Watt, just so he can go through defense. So, yeah. Let's prepare ourselves for... Uh, this is the warehouse I was talking about, by the way. What is this one? And if you go down there, this guy wants like 64 cents or 69 and he gives you a special item, and if I recall correctly, every time you give him 64, the item gets better and better until he finally gives you like a badge or something. So. And you get like life rooms, uh, star pieces, and things like that. So, there's like seriously no guarantee I'm gonna win this. Because to me, he is one of the hardest bosses in the game. So, just putting that out there. Um, is that all I want to have? 
That, this one's bad. I don't really need, like, camera items right now. Actually, I should put that on. Just for the sake of this battle, putting on Happy Heart. So he's like, what's up, old chop? There is a huge nerdy Koopa just standing in the way there. I'm like, I got this. I got it. I think it was Kent C. Koopa. Yep. Uh, once a hundred coins, I'm like, hell no. Nah. I almost hit pay. I will have been P.O.'d and have to rage. So, we got this. I actually probably don't, but no, it never hurts to say a little encouragement. Wow, okay. So, let's just charge. Yep, he always wanted to hit his tail when he's flipped over. He can flip over and attack all in one turn. And if that actually goes through, he damages your partner as well. Which is a load of baloney. So let's try. I think this will just flip him over. I don't think power bounce will even um do that. I don't think it can ever flip them over. So that's retarded. Yeah, get raped. I'll try it, but no guarantees. Yep, doesn't even do any damage, that's retarded. Oh well. Yeah, this guy has really, like, really high defense, which is why I'm using Watt. He can go through defense, so if I don't get him over on his shell, yeah. Dude, this is awesome. He's just going for that stupid spinning attack. So, yeah, you always want to attack his tail. I think, regardless, Watt can do damage, but I'm just going for a tail, just to be safe. Yeah, this, that can do 10. It's outrageous. So let's just flip him back over. Actually. Yeah, let's flip him over and then do that. Three money, sweet. I'll do two and flip him over, which is great. So, oh man, that happy heart is actually coming in handy for once. Maybe kind of, sort of, not really. Back to keeping it real with Reverend L. Sharpton on WCHB NewsDetroit.com. New Mexico today, Eleanor Tatum, Dr. Eleanor Tatum, published in the New York Amsterdam News, live in our New York studio. I'm Jack Tatum, Black Enterprise Magazine. Dirt, I asked you for the break of what is all this data mean? And uh, I remember I, there was a meeting with some of uh, the two rights groups with uh, Secretary Black and about a month and a half ago. And my market is uh, uh, other things. As you just said, in the down, doubly unemployed in, in the black community, and we are being foreclosed on at a higher rate. I think they have put some things in place in the Obama administration to try and address a lot of this. But you're right, the devil is in the detail, and when it hits the states and the cities, uh, there's a lot of bureaucracy and institutional problems, and on the federal level. And one of the reasons I'm in New Mexico today, I'm going to uh, speak to the joint legislation tomorrow. These governors are saying the way to bring their deficits down is to freeze state and municipal employment. Yeah. 
something, I guess. Man, I hate how much that does. So insane. I think I can buy these in chapter 7. So I'll use it. Yeah, it gives me a decent chunk. This battle is, like, to me, insanely hard. So now I am in danger zone, which isn't good. So let's just smooch on up. And refund, right? Am I right? Uh, I wish that would have been. This would have been worth a lot. I mean, getting a kiss from a star sprite. Hail oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. Items and badges and hoes working together. Mm-hmm. Okay, block it. Yoshi! Yes! Okay, that's good. There's, like, no use in charging, so... There's no even use in flipping him over, either, so... Man, I forgot how much... I thought he only had, like, 40 HP, but I'm wrong. It might be, like, 60. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah. Yeah, get him, Watt! If I had return postage, dude, you'd be effing yourself up so bad right now. So let's just... Yeah. There's absolutely no reason to do this, but... Like... Oh, damn. Okay, sweet. So, that kill... Oh my god, I killed him. Seeing the hiring patterns that's going with uh, the, uh, the growth in revenues with uh, those companies. Now, Dr. Taylor, I'm going to ask you and uh, uh, Derek this, and then I'm going to the phone. One of the areas that uh, you have known, you know, concerns about uh, family is uh, Derek and the entire black enterprise back in his house of black entrepreneurs and the building of businesses and the sustainable business. And uh, one of the areas that we need to actually actually network and work to is to tell you to advertise the world because you can't even sustain black media institutions. Uh, it's based on ads. I mean, we got 90 newspapers, and radio. And the racial profile of this, if somebody like me comes in and say, help me go to deal with the black man, they just like a dog, and all Byron 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 and all Look, they make you think money's out of our community. They don't want to advertise the Amazon. They don't want to advertise the Black Enterprise. They want to shake that out of community if you bring some up here to start something. And you don't seem to be listening to as state governments doing business with our entrepreneurs. There are no major contractors in New York City. You imagine the biggest city in the world. Over a third of it black, and we don't have one major black construction company up. Yeah, well, you know, Rob, you're absolutely right when it comes to talking about advertising, and that is our life's blood. And the fact of the matter is that it's the same with Black Enterprise, it's historically been the case that even in the very good times, the African American buy is the last buy that is added, and when times get rough, it's the first buy to be taken away. So we get it from the tail end of the good times, and we're the first to go as soon as it starts getting bad. But they don't do that from our community. See, well, my problem yeah. is. If that was about making some of the black uh, entrepreneurs money, you're in our community. So if you're in our community with your five staff there, that's not only building our institution, that's jobs you provide. That's right. entrepreneurship that gets you to And they have the audacity to tell us, well, we can get the same people through the Paris News, which those people are not hiding. Those dollars don't need a cycle in our community using those things. And you're absolutely right, and, and that is a huge issue for all of us. And when they do say that they can get to us through the general market, what they're not understanding is that they're only getting a small segment of us, and they're only getting us because um, we happen to be looking at certain sections, but we're not there for the same reason that we're there going to the black press. You know, it's a very different mindset, and it's a very different customer. And those that are um, that do have marketing dollars, the the pie is um, 
It is very small, and you have all minority companies fighting for that pie. So you're not getting uh, significant uh, revenues or uh, revenues that are commensurate with the uh, their customer base as it relates to the uh, African American uh, uh, consumer. No, well, I think I, I will keep fighting for them. Some of them support us, some of them don't. I don't apologize for that. I think it's outrageous that these people are making trillions of dollars in our community and don't do business with our community. And I think as one of the callers says, we are voting for officials that have no commitment that they will do business with people in our community. I'm talking about, you have a Chicago man's race going on right now. Where's the business commitment to entrepreneurship in, in, in the community? Where is the uh, targeting in terms of unemployment? Atlanta, across the board, New York. And, and we have been intimidated in the silence so they can cut up the pie. I think it is outrageous. Well, you know, Rev, I think one of the other things that we also have to look at, and politicians have been notorious at this, is they really haven't wanted to address the issues of the black community because they feel that they can address the issues of all of America. And this is happening more and more, and it's getting more and more local as well. And, yeah. so and, and, and we are suffering for it. Well, Definitely. I, and you, I think it comes down to accountability, and I think it comes down to the leadership. Um, you know, Governor Patterson, he was uh, very focused on ensuring that there was uh, contracting dollars for um, minority firms, and that was done at the agency level. And I think you need that level of aggressiveness in terms of leadership, and you need pressure on the political structure to make sure that things like that are in place. We're going to take a break. We're going to the phone. Are you better off now than you were a year ago? And what we... I have no idea what this guy wants from me. I spy as a work for Maybe it's over here. No. Oh, wait. Sweet. There it is. That's all good. So let's just continue on this way and let's talk to the flower garden. Uh, the flower fields in trouble. Four kinds of seeds. I got four. I actually, I got five kinds of seeds. Believe it or not. So she's gonna go on and plant that by jumping on soil. And yeah, I wish I could plant flowers like that. I'll be lucky to cook my own food, let alone plant flowers by jumping on some dirt. <laughs> I like her like smile when she jumps. So yeah, let's plant these bitches so I can walk into that, you know, kind of non-existent door kind of thing, but still kind of there. I think Sushi's our last partner, actually. I can't remember anyone else that was in my team. So, hold on. All right. So the door's uh, producing some flowers while spinning and whatnot, and... Yeah, I'm like really busy today, so. The door suddenly appeared to flower fields. Let's go ahead. But first, we will come on over here, see what we got. What is this chart? It was by three. Wow, that's actually. That's gonna cost like two, isn't it? Yeah. And plus, like, the thing is, uh, I just bought like a $200 battery. Uh, I knew it would be useful, just like, there's not too many enemies here that require hammer. So, so this door is like gonna explode on our face, and uh, yeah, we didn't really get, whoa, it's fun. That's uh, Huff and Puff right there, and he's actually a pretty legitimately hard enemy. So, what ho, now who might that be? The tree talking, if you guys didn't know. Ho 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 ho, up here, Sonny. They call me Wise Westerwood. I'm the oldest tree here in flower fields, land with trees, flowers, grass, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard lots about you, son. You're trying to be best and save the sparse sprites from the rest of the world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means the sprite is here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flower field is in trouble, as you can see by the sky. A creature named Huff Puff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky, and it has been dark and cloudy ever since. 
Isn't that rather depressing to hear? The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are weak and fading. Oh, remember something. You remember that Hufflepuff is holding something captive. Of course, it must be a source brave. That's what you're searching for. Aha, uh -huh. you're going to defeat the wicked Hufflepuff then. Well, that'd make the wishes of Cloudfield come true. It's not that easy. Hufflepuff is up in the sky. I'm what we call it a cloud, cl cloudy climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if a magical bean or something that grow high. Check the bean stalk. Now, wait a minute. If there is a flower that has magical beans somewhere, um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bulb, bulb bulbs on here might have some useful information as well. I think I'd say talk to them. So let's save. And um, video two is coming up after.